Here's a scary situation. A man is attacked by a fox in broad daylight. That's right. It happened this past weekend in Corning. Now that man is being treated for rabies. WENY's Tanja Reiki talked to him as he recovers and joins us with the story. Tanja? Renata and Ben, in his 56 years of living in Corning, Gerald Rose says he never saw a fox come out of the woods during daylight. He says it's a wonder he's still alive and standing after the attack. 76-year-old Gerald Rose was simply cleaning his lawnmower on Saturday, but a potentially rabid fox had a different idea. Well, either, either stay alive or get back up on your feet, because that's what I was working on, you know, because he kept coming through my throat and face. Barely able to stand on his own two feet, the attack left Gerald winded. I was wondering I didn't have a heart attack, I mean, because of my age, you know, and, and I was out of breath what happened after, you know, kept, I kept pulling them off. But. Gerald said he had to paw the fox off at least five times. Here's what it did to his working gloves within just seconds. Because I was all blood and it was, my hand was all tore up. The skin was coming right off. After attacking Gerald, he says it's likely the same fox came down through these woods into his nephew's home. That's where it was ultimately shot and killed. We ended up having to kill it and then now we've seen several others since that it have been coming out during the broad daylight. Gerald says he's seen bears in the woods by his backyard before, but never foxes. What I worry about is these little kids, uh, people's got kids that are running around in the lawn by themselves. That's something to look forward to and protect their, protect their kids and what, keep an eye on them. You don't know what's going to happen. In the meantime, Gerald is now getting rabies treatments for his bites, which includes a series of shots. I got one to get in the right arm, and the last one to probably be in my left arm again. After. We spoke to the Steuben County Health Department, and they suggested some tips for people and pets. They say to make sure your pet is vaccinated and get a booster shot if it has been in a fight with a rabid animal. And for people, get immediate attention if you fear you may have been infected. Tanja Reiki, WNY News.